An empty shop like this is a rare event by me. It's going to last all of five minutes before I bring in the next project. Hey, how's it, Oaks? Um, I'm waiting for some parts for the rogue rat rod. And in Africa, nothing is quickly. It's going to take a while. Some custom stuff that I want made. Um, so I thought, yeah, while I'm waiting, let's push this guy into the shop and start working on it. I know a Ford F100 is probably a highly unlikely subject for a rat rod. Um, so let's see where it's going to go. I've got some ideas. I think one of them is going to definitely be to get her much lower. We're going to play a little bit with the suspension. And we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah, I wonder if one old man will be able to push this thing in here. Let's give it a shot. Um, getting some stuff out of the way. I don't think I'll move it. If I don't, then I'll just go and fetch some help. How about that? It's going. Yeah, we're making progress. I must do some steering. To line it up a bit better. Yeah. <coughs> Looks good. <coughs> there she goes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad for one 60 year old man. <laughs> so I took the engine and the gearbox out quite a while ago. Um, the engine was pretty good. It's a straight six diesel. Unusual, I know. Um, you don't get them in the States like that. It was actually built in Australia, as far as I understand. 4 liter straight 6 diesel. Um, there was a major issue with the clutch, which was the main reason why we took it out. And then I thought, let's rip the engine out completely, clean it up a bit, check it out. So for my next step, I think I'm just going to strip everything in the front here to get some better access. There's also some pretty serious corrosion damage from where the battery sat, which I already cut out. So I would like to sort that out. I'll show you now. I think I'm just going to rip out all the wiring, everything else, kind of start fresh. <laughs> One big hole where the battery used to sit. Seriously bad corrosion, so I just, a while ago, I cut it all out. I want to make a fresh start here. You can see, I mean, you can see right through. So I think. That's also one of the first things on the agenda. Fix this, make new. So it's got massive 33 inch tires on at the moment. That's going to go. Got a little bit of character already. Body putty. Which we don't like, we'll just strip it off. <laughs> There's a little bit of, maybe not just quite a little bit of rust going on up here. All adds character. <laughs> Back here in the load bin, some pretty serious corrosion. As you can see, some patch pieces. 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to rip the old load bin off. So that's also on the list. And we'll come up with something new. It will also give me some good access to the chassis in the back. We want to flip the diff around to drop it, make that job much easier. Shot of the interior. I guess it's not too shabby. Don't see any serious rust issues here on the floorboard side. Yeah. Check out the left hand side. Ah, the door doesn't want to open. <laughs> and I'm off to a flying start. I already dropped one of the sealed beams when I was trying to take it out. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign I should do something completely different with the headlights up here in the front. Apart from that, normal story. Fighting with rusty bolts. So that's going to take a while. I don't think I'm going to bore you guys with that struggle. But this one I can see it's now turning on the inside. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to spend some time undoing all these bolts and screws so we can get the front end off. Grill, I suppose, front grill. Okay, this grill has obviously been taken off before, a long time ago. <laughs> These bolts going through here to the inside of the mud guard or the fender. So long, solidly rusted. The inside nut is not welded to the fender anymore. You know what? Life is too short to fight with rusty bolts. So, let's take this fellow. <laughs> take that. That's one. Much easier. Thank you. <laughs> okay, first step the outer grill is loose. There we go. Next up, I want to get rid of this fellow. Frustration! Play has been stopped. Not by rain, <laughs> but by something called load shedding. If you live in South Africa, you know exactly what that is. If you don't, load shedding is essentially a controlled power interruption. Um, it's caused by the inefficiency of the government that runs this bloody banana republic that I live in. Essentially, we have a monopoly when it comes to energy generation and many times this state-owned utility does not have enough capacity to supply power to the whole country. So what do they do? They switch off certain areas on a rotational basis so that those areas are then without power and others can get power and that kind of scenario. I mean, can you believe it? That's what it's like to live in a third world country. 
So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with it. I can't see so well anymore. <laughs> so thank, thanks for watching me here in the semi-darkness. <laughs> um, yeah. If you feel there's any value in my channel, I would appreciate if you subscribe. And then I'll see you again when the lights come back on. Ha, ha, ha.